Okay guys, complete transformation process for Hailstorm from Hunt for the Decepticons. Again, just a reminder, this is only the transformation process. The actual review is on a separate video. What we're going to do then is we're going to separate these rocket launchers from his shoulders. You can see there's a tab there which was hooked into there. Carefully lift this up from there. Oh, I've just separated that. We don't need to do that just yet. We're going to open up the back part of this. And then what we're going to do is there's a tab here and here on the back of the rocket launches if we click them together then you can carefully slide these down you can see the slots it's going to line into once oh that's it once we've lined it up and slot it down close this over and then lift it slightly up and i'd suggest turning it all the way around out of the way now funny enough the next bit we're going to do you pretty much saw some of it but before we do that let's just separate the bottom part there so that's the waist and then what we're going to do we're going to pull this whole chest section let me get his head rather move it out of the way and we're going to pull it up like so so you see how that comes up that's going to allow this to extend out the full length of what's going to be the alternate mode so what we need to do now we're going to fold the head in out of the way that's how you know you've pulled it all the way up because the head will fit into there these will come out in a second we're going to clip these into the back of this in a minute what we need to do now is we need to fold these out this part of the arm will push in slightly you'll push it against itself and then you can see on this side where you're going to line them up and just i suppose for now as long as you turn this if we bring this in that's it try and get it as flush against these treads as you can so same for this side we're going to open it out fold this side over try and keep it as tight to it as you can and just lie it flat then if we turn it over this way what we're going to do this is going to be the front so these are the feet and we're going to fold these forward back and all the way flush against it fold it back flush and all the way against now they don't actually click together they just hold together like that which i'm sure you can see now these are all going to fit rather snugly in a second this part is going to clip over oh, the front of the whole part of the vehicle so let's just line all this up once it's straight what you need to do is this here is going to just bring over the top you didn't see that then so let me just show you bring it down it's only going to click just over that back part there and then you're going to do the same on the other side so make sure that everything's sort of pushed still together that's just separated a little you can see bring this over and clip just over the front of this it'll only go literally in fact there's a little cut out there see the cut out there that's what you're aiming to line up if the foot comes out like this it's quite simple to just relocate push back in and straighten everything up once we've straightened these parts up then i need to flatten it to do this properly we're going to turn this upper part around i'm just going to straighten these out as well what you can see we need to then do at the back this was above the head so we need to turn these around and just click this into position there same on the other side and again let's be honest sometimes it doesn't fully click in you might just need to press it all together like so i think what would help this one in all honesty is if they had these or tabs for these to click together not just rest next to each other then all you've got to do is position that into position there and there is the alternate mode okay then so let's go back to robot let's take the of course tank lift this part up and keep it out of the way for now what i'd suggest you then do is separate this from the back just lift that up there lift that up there you can see you've cleared some space so you can now move this same with the front all we've got to really do is separate this off there either side separate this off there and keep it lifted completely out of the way these of course were the hands so what you can do is fold over the tank treads you can see you've got a cut out there and a tab and then what you've got to do is compress them together and then the forearm we can just leave there for now same with this side there's the tab there's the cutout fold this over it will have a bit of a clearance you'll see and then what you've got to do is as i say press it compress it down over we're just going to leave that out of the way for now anyway then so this whole midsection here let's fold the toes out from underneath i suppose feet as well as toes isn't it fold it down uh, compress it over itself or cascade it back over itself same on that side you can click it right the way down 
No, you can't. I thought you could. That tab's for something else. Um, and then this is where we need to fold the middle bit up, fold the middle bit up, and that will click into place. So that's his midsection. Now what we need to do is with the arms, in fact, I need to take the head out of the way first and foremost, fold the head up. And if you pull the arms out, watch this, that's the whole upper torso part from the beginning bit. And you're just going to pull it out and condense it and line it up until it's in the middle, press it down and it'll click into place. Then you can put the arms however you want them. Of course, turn the forearms around like this. Now the whole bit at the back is still spinning around all over the place. And that's because what we need to do is we're going to turn it around this way. Yeah, we're going to turn it that way so the red missiles are at the top. You're then going to open up the hatch at the back like so. Now if you turn these up, again, just tilt it all the way out, close the back of this, separate these here together. You've got tabs either side of the shoulders so you can line these up with that cutout that is right there. So one there and one on the top is gonna go in. He says, just missed it. There we go on the top. And pretty much like when we had the first part of the transformation into the alternate mode, it's a case of just lining everything up how you want it to go. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.